Today, we're going to talk about the number one top food to greatly boost your coenzyme Q10. Now, what is coenzyme Q10? Well, it's a coenzyme, which is a little different than an enzyme. So it's a helper enzyme. Well, what does it help with? Well, it helps to make uh, your energy currency in your body called ATP. And this occurs in the energy factory called the mitochondria. So coenzyme Q10 is intimately involved in making ATP or energy. It's involved in maintaining that ATP or energy. And it's also involved in reducing the byproduct uh, that occurs when you make that energy, which is like oxidative stress, free radical damage. So it's a very powerful antioxidant. So it'll be equivalent to a specialized gasoline in your car that would not give you any exhaust. Exhaust being the oxidation, the free radical damage. So the reason why we need so much coenzyme Q10 in our heart is because that is the part of the body that generates uh, the most energy out of any part. I mean, it has to generate a lot of energy and it's constantly beating 24 seven. It never really relaxes. And so you need this specialized coenzyme to maintain that energy. And because it produces all the energy, it comes with a lot of exhaust. So we also need to clean that up as well. So that's why coenzyme Q10 is so important. And so a lot of people take it for the cardiovascular function and they get more energy from it. It helps them uh, lower blood pressure. And I'm going to tell you why. Because coenzyme Q10 supports the blood vessel to the heart, as in the endothelial function. It also helps maintain the capacity of energy to keep your energy in the heart at a certain level. So it doesn't dip down because if there's a lowered level of energy to the heart, then your blood pressure is going to start going higher and higher and higher as a way to compensate and increase more pressure and volume to make up for the loss of energy in other parts of the heart. So coenzyme Q10 is intimately involved in the contraction of the heart muscle. And so if you don't have enough, it could, it's not going to contract as much. And then you can get a uh, backup of fluids, edema, and things like that. And so the body considers this coenzyme Q10 as a very important survival um, helper molecule, because if your heart fails, you're not going to actually survive. And coenzyme Q10 reduces the oxidative stress from the heart. It helps lower blood pressure. It helps reduce the side effects from statins, which are um, drugs that block the production of cholesterol. So one of the problems with statin, among many others, is that it has a side effect of uh, toxicity to your muscles. And that occurs because it depletes coenzyme Q10. And that's interesting because it tells you what coenzyme does. It protects the heart against uh, things like muscle inflammation, muscle weakness, muscle damage. And of course, when you have anything like that, you're going to have fatigue. So let's just picture yourself. You ran up a hill, right? Well, you're going to get to a point where you can't keep going, right? You're, you're going to be exhausted. You're going to be huffing and puffing. And that's because the heart... Uh, cannot maintain that blood flow. And it's eventually going to stop you. You might just kind of be stooping over, hunched over, because the heart is working so hard. It's, it has to anchor itself to the sternum and the back part, and it's going to pull you forward. And so coenzyme Q10 is all about uh, increasing and optimizing the full energy of the cardiovascular system. And so you can imagine the more coenzyme Q10 you have, the longer the heart is going to last. Now, the next question is what depletes coenzyme Q10? Well, age. The older you get, the less you're gonna have, okay? Number two, chronic illness, diabetes, inflammatory illnesses. Next one is stress, okay? Stress will deplete it. And the next one I already talked about, statins. And the last one is low vitamin B6, okay? So coenzyme Q10 needs B6 to work. So now that you have the basics, what food can increase coenzyme Q10 in your body? Well, the number one food is, you ready for this? Beef heart. Now, before you click off, there are some other sources. If you choose not to eat beef heart, um, you can also do beef liver. That's another one. Unfortunately, as much as I would eat liver, I don't like liver. Some people do, but you can get a good amount of coenzyme Q10 from organ meats and especially the beef heart and even the liver. But if you're like me and you want another source, you can get it from leafy greens. Now, the 
planet's main energy source is the sun, but we can't extract the energy directly from the sun. But plants can through something called photosynthesis, right? So the plant converts the sunlight with CO2 in the air to this chemical energy storage called chlorophyll. And chlorophyll is green. So anything green has a good amount of chlorophyll in it. Now, other plants that are not green also have this photosynthesis, but they don't have as much chlorophyll. So the more foods that you can eat that are green, and I'm not talking about pistachio ice cream or lime green jello, I'm talking about uh, salad, parsley especially, or any of the leafy green vegetables, you are going to help increase your coenzyme Q10. Not to mention the other benefits of vegetables, potassium, magnesium, and of course the fiber in the plants that feed the microbes that can also indirectly give you energy. Now you can also get chlorophyll in algae, as in blue-green algae or other types of algae. So that's another source. Now, as far as fish goes, uh, you'll get a little bit more coenzyme Q10 if you have the red flesh fish, like in yellowfin tuna, that's a good source. So if you're getting older and you're just feeling like your energy is not high, uh, you could just need more coenzyme Q10. And why not just start eating those foods that can help beef up, no pun intended, your coenzyme Q10. And I think the best video for you to watch next is the one on the cardiovascular system. Check it out right here.